Okay, I have something I want to share here. This is uh, a little thing that I posted on Reddit uh, called uh, Could Dark Matter Be a Space Characteristic Rather Than an Invisible Ghost-Like Particle? Uh, this is going to be my arguments for the particle-based model of dark matter, and I'm replacing it with it being a space characteristic. So... I've been doing my own research on dark matter and studying what basic forces it interacts with physically. As we know, the strong and weak forces have to do with particle interaction, and the gravity force has to do with space interaction. And the last force of electromagnetism can do both. It can interact with particles by movement of electric charge, and it can interact with space via electromagnetic, ra electromagnetic radiation, and that includes light. Because dark matter has a gravitational influence, this suggests that whatever dark matter is, it only seems to interact with space and not particles. This led me to into research what else do particles do character what, what else do particle characteristics have that dark matter does not? And I also found that dark matter is more of a uniform field that has no common center of strongest gravity and weaker points of its gravity as you move away from it. This also suggests that dark matter has more of a connection with space than with particles, therefore making more sense that dark matter is a characteristic of space that influences particle movement rather than being an invisible ghost-like particle with gravity. If dark matter were composed of particles, we would expect some interaction with electromagnetic radiation. Even if minimal, it would make it detectable in some sort of spectrum. But the fact that dark matter is entirely invisible suggests that it doesn't interact with light at all, a highly unusual characteristic for particles, and puts more support of it being a spatial characteristic than an invisible ghost-like particle. If dark matter is a characteristic of space itself, then this, this invisibility makes more sense. Space by nature doesn't interact with light in the same way particles do. Therefore, dark matter as a space characteristic would inherently be invisible. Since dark matter can pass through normal matter, including entire galaxies without interacting in any significant way, like a ghost, then this lack of interaction is difficult to reconcile with what we know about particles, which typically interact with each other in predictable ways, like collisions and scattering, etc. If dark matter is a characteristic of space, it wouldn't collide with particles because it's not a particle itself. Instead, it would simply be the medium through which particles move, similar to how particles move through space itself without interacting with the fabric of space directly. Particles with mass ha generally have gravity fields that are stronger near their gravitational centers. However, dark matter appears to exert a more of a uniform gravitational pull across large regions. A uniform gravitational effect across dark matter clump aligns with the idea that it's a property of space itself. If dark matter is a denser region of space, it would naturally have more uniform gravitational influence rather than having a strong center like collection of a, long, a large strong center like a collection of particles would. These are my arguments for the mainstream particle based model that is so widely discussed in the science community on dark matter. The idea of dark matter being an invisible particle and have, gravity f and have gravitational force that interacts with space and yet has no interaction with any of the other basic forces that do interact with particles make the particle theory of dark matter difficult to accept. By rethinking dark matter as a characteristic of space makes more, s makes more of an elegant way to understand the nature of what dark matter is and how it influences structure in the cosmos, especially the largest structures that make up the cosmic web. So this is what I posted on Reddit as my suggestion and my arguments for what dark matter could be and why uh, the particle-based model, I think, does not work. Because all the interactions that, of the forces, all the, the forces that, the basic forces that interact with particles and electromagnetism that can interact with space and particles, the only interaction dark matter has is with gravity and gravity is a force that interacts with space. So this is why I believe that dark matter is a characteristic of space rather than being some invisible ghost-like particle with gravity. Um, 
okay so that's posted on reddit i'll put a link in the description and thank you for watching